Hey there guys, I'm coming at you from the beautiful Waynesburg University campus. The beautiful leaves are changing colors and starting to fall and hit the ground. And today, I'm coming at you with 10 pros and cons of going to college. Let's get this thing started. All right guys, I am here. The wind is a howling, but you know what? I'm in a good mood anyway, so I'm gonna do this video. And today, I'm gonna be different and unique and kind of special, and I'm gonna do everything completely backwards. So we're gonna start off with the cons first. Con number one is money. Guys, college is expensive as crap. I am like X, X, X amount of dollars in debt right now. So yeah, that's definitely con number one. Pro number one, long lasting friendships. Guys, I've met some of the nicest people here on Waynesburg campus and I adore them and I hope that we never stop talking because it is just so much fun to be around them and get to know them. And honestly guys, I thought the friendships I had in high school were gonna be forever and ever and ever, but I soon realized that the re relationships that you meet at college and the people you grow with through college are 10,000, the relationship is just 10,000 times stronger through that. Con numero two. All right guys, it seems like no matter how hard college is, you're still not prepared for life when you finally graduate. Okay, now, just let me spill this out for you guys. If you live on campus, that means you give a whole ton of money to somebody, and then that's it. They pay your bills, all your money goes on your food card, and it's like, like, it's like, it's like, like your electricity always stays on, your internet always stays on, your cable always stays on. Your food, you just swipe a card and you get food. It's like a credit card that never runs out. So guys, honestly, I feel like college doesn't actually prepare you for life at all because as soon as you get out of college, all of a sudden you got an insurance bill, an electricity bill, a cable bill, a water bill. You gotta find money for food somehow. And college doesn't prepare you for any of that stuff. Pro number two, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Yes, guys, there are a ton of single people on campus, both men and women. So a good college campus is the perfect place to meet that significant other person and maybe spend the rest of your life with them. Unless you're me and you're too shy to talk to anybody and you stay single throughout your entire college career. Go me! Con number three, not sleeping. Ever. Okay? Guys, it is ridiculous how much sleep you don't get as a college kid. You know that eight hours a day you're supposed to get? Yeah, no, you don't get it. <laughs> you don't get it. <laughs> Pro number four, learning to go without sleep. Eventually, if you continually finish your college career, you will learn how to live and work without sleep. You can become sleep deprived and still function. There are days, there are several days, where I will stay up all night writing papers and studying for tests and then during the day I'm still like okay I'm good sleep is for the week con number four stress it's everywhere guys you cannot wake up in the morning without feeling stress there is something due every day there's a paper due every day there's a test every day there's a reading thing every day it's stressful that's why you have to have something to do on your free time so you don't jump off a bridge. Pro number five. Guys, all together through college, I do believe that we as people become more rounded. I do believe that there is some point to going through all these classes. And I believe that biggest point is that through all these classes and meeting all these people and talking to all these professors and going through this stress and this turmoil, we all become better and more rounded people, ethically, morally, just all together we become more rounded people and we are more able to handle the world as we get out there. We're not prepared for it, but we're a step closer to managing it. Con number five, guys, is time. As a college kid, you don't have any. You don't have none. You got homework, you probably got work, you got freaking tests, exams, studying, all these things, 
guys, you either give up your sleep or you give up your social life, okay? You gotta give up something. And kids do it different ways. Sometimes they give up the sleep, sometimes they give up their social life. I give up a little bit of both. <laughs> you know, you got, you know, you just gotta toss it up here or there. The last pro, guys, is that you do more than likely end up having a better job coming out of college. If you go to college and get a degree, you have a very, very high chance of getting a better job than you would without that college degree. So that's a plus, a pro, a positive that you are going to end up with a better paying job. Unless you're a psych major. If you're a psych major, then you probably should be really, really pretty and go to be a model, be really, really creative, go to be a YouTuber, or be completely famous. Because other than that, you're screwed. Alright guys, so that was the pros and cons of being a college student and going to college. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I hope that kind of, sort of, made you want to go to college. I mean, maybe? Why am I here? I really don't know why. Oh well guys, so if you like this video then you're just as crazy as I am and there's probably no help for you. So leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys around.